multiple users, then you don't have to contact anyone. You can scan the QR code on the Android if you move to Android or save the QR code for later if you will use it later. At this point, I'm sure I want to delete the eSIM, tap delete, and you get one more, one more warning. This cannot be undone, delete eSIM. So now you see it's showing removing here. This is the part that shows removing and no need to update anything. It still shows here. Okay, so I will have to update contacts. I don't update any contacts with that. So, okay, that's the step to get rid of it completely if there was any contact to make sure that it's removed. So now I have two. Now I have a physical SIM card and the remaining eSIM. And you see here, I only have one single bar and I can enable the other SIM card and I use the second eSIM. The first eSIM I removed, it's gone. And now I have the remaining eSIM and the physical SIM card. This is how you remove an eSIM from your iPhone and you can use these steps, the same steps, to remove it from the iPhone then to add it to Android. I'll make a video about adding this QR code, a new QR code generated after removing it from iPhone. I will add it to the Android. That's how you move the eSIM from iPhone to Android. You have to remove from iPhone, then you add it to Android. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.